Neil, you must be absolutely delighted with that performance and the result in her return to the Premiership. Fantastic. Um, started off a bit drowsy, I, I get that, but um, the reaction after Thistle scored was fantastic. And we were dominant all over the pitch, you know, good, good pace and energy about us and good quality. Um, passed it really well and created a lot of chances, so I can't ask any more. You know, it's a great scoreline for us and delighted with the crowd today and for them to go home happy too. We had Darren McGregor helping us with commentary today and he was saying that in the pre-season games and the Betfred Cup games, we've gone ahead in games. It would be interesting to see how we reacted to going behind as we did. Reaction was fantastic. I mean, that's what I'm wanting, you know, the teams can't score. You know, it's, we have a very good, you know, defensive lineup and a good goalkeeper but th this is a step up in quality it's about how we react to it and believing that we we can and get back into the game and it manifested itself very very quickly you know McGinn starts setting the tone by getting close to people and just being really physically strong in midfield and it gives the rest of them a huge lift so sometimes it just needs that little touch of touch of blue paper to get it going and then um, after that we were I thought we dominated the 30 35 minutes of the first half I thought we had a great spell just after half time as well, where we get the third goal. And we saw the game out very well. Simon Murray up front is he's like a wasp around jam. Defenders must hate playing against somebody like that. He never stops. Do you know what else, Cliff? His touch was excellent today. His link up play was excellent. So I got an all round performance from the centre forward. Now, you know, he may not get the volume of goals of Jason, but he brings different aspects to the game. And he can be absolutely thrilled with his performance today. He was super. And physically, you know, we give their centre halves a really hard time as well. He was instrumental in our equaliser. It broke quite fortunately because he didn't quite get it under control. But Martin Boyle was in the right place to profit from it. Well, if he has got it under control, he's in. You know, and Boyle's there. You know, and he t again, he's having a great time of it. Mm -hmm. We've got goals in him and pace, and he's physically developing into you know a, a real asset for us. And um, I'm delighted. I've been delighted with Martin since he came in the door. I know the player that we've got there. and Again, he's outstanding today. Mm -hmm. Talk about fitness levels, Cliff, he just keeps going. You know, he must be in... We just wore them down in the end, which is great. But out of caution, it's just a good start, that's all. The second goal, Dylan McGeoch and Danny Swanson, so patient at the edge of the Partick Thistle area, just waiting for the gap. And when Danny Swanson got it, the ball through for Stephen Whitaker. He didn't even have to swing a leg at it, he just guided it into the far corner. A brilliant finish from a brilliant player. I'm, I'm so happy we've got Stephen on board and showed his class today. And as for the other two, I thought they were great. Dylan started off a little bit nervy, grew into the game, I thought he had a fantastic game. And, and Danny's just got that little bit of creativity that we've probably been missing. He's got goals in him and it was a beautifully weighted pass for the goals. So yeah, thrilled, you know, it's really good football. Third goal, Martin Boyle, again his pace got him into the box. Stonewall penalty kick. Simon Murray and Danny Swanson had a wee bit of a tete a tete about who was taking it. Simon won the battle. And if you're going to do that, you've got to be confident of scoring it. And he did. Yeah, he took it great. You know, hopefully we've got someone who can consistently score penalties. Danny missed one against our broth. Simon wanted to take it, so I left it up to Gary Parker. So we told Simon to take them, and then obviously the wee man's wanting his goal, but um, Simon's a striker, you know, feeds off goals, and he's got eight goals since he's walked in the door already. It's a very good start. So you're 3-1 up with an hour gone, no real need to force the game thereafter. We maybe let Thistle have a wee bit more of the ball than they'd had in the opening period, but they never really put us under a lot of pressure. I know, but at this level, the teams are going to have spells in the game, and we have to make sure we're, we're right it out. And then, you know, we come again, we hit the post, you know, Simon's had a great chance, and we're unfortunate there. So, on the counter-attack, we look very, very good. So, look, I think we'll get better, you know, players will get more up to speed, Stokesy. You know, Slipka's got to come into that, so it's Big Davy Das, and we'll use him as the season goes on. So, yeah, there's a lot to be happy about. Dave Gray missed out today, as, as did Darren, so, you know, we've got depth there now. Like Darren was a wee bit concerned watching the performance today about how he's going to Goody get back be. into the team. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Air United and the Bet Freight Cup on Tuesday night, the games at this stage of the season come thick and fast. Is that an opportunity for you to give some other lads a run out? I don't want to take too many chances. You know, Air have got off the great start of the season as well. And you know they beat us here last season. It's a you know last 16. It's a chance to get a quarter final. So we'll try and go as strong as we can. But I'll have to see how the bodies are. That was quite tiring out there today towards the end. A bit of fatigue kicking in. So there may be one or two changes, but not many.
although inclosing to say that one of the things that was very noticeable was the fitness levels of all the guys looked immense they just never stopped from start to finish no they were good you know they've worked they've had, they've had a good pre-season and you know we've worked hard to try and keep them injury free as well so they've come back in good condition they've worked really hard and you get the benefits of that cliff if you put the time in and you know credit to the players have done that and Stokes, he got a, a last 20 minutes. Maybe not quite as sharp with the ball at his feet. Fitness-wise, OK, but maybe needs a few games just to get that sharpness up. Yeah, I thought he looked fine, you know. And, he, look, he's not probably kicked the ball since the April May's time, you know, so that's understandable. That's why, if he had been match fit, he'd have started, you know, a player of that calibre. But having to come on, we'll drip-feed him in as we go along and then just unleash him on the rest.